Thanks for tuning into the channel guys. Hope you're well. Hope uh, you're all getting out for a fish. It's been pretty average weather the past kind of week in Perth. We um, haven't really had a lot of good good fishing weather. There's been a lot of big swell and yeah, a lot of wind. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks we uh, we get some good weather for, for fishing. So anyway, this week guys, I just want to show you a bunch of new stuff that's come in. Uh, we've just had a restock from ASWB and we're kind of growing our range of ASWB. They, you know, they make really good premium quality lures. He's got plastic lures, he's got um, hard lures, generally designed for heavy duty fishing. So, you know, for big GTs, big mackerel, tuna, that kind of stuff. But we've just got these poppers back in that, um, they're kind of like a mini popper of his of, well, mini version of his big rowy pop and pretty much we have the 40 gram little rowy pop so this thing it's about oh i think it's about 100 and maybe 110 millimeters long uh, 100 yeah about, about 110 120 maybe um, but it's 40 grams and it's great for throwing on pe2 pe3 pe4 lines if you can see the cup on this lure it absolutely makes a really big splash, makes a lot of commotion. And as with all ASWB lures, real heavy duty wiring, okay? A real solid, good quality finish. But I just love the size of this lure. I think, you know, like it's just, it, it's cute, right? It's tiny, it's heavy duty, and it works. It catches fish. And like all the ASWB lures, he's got a really awesome color range. So. I'm just going to run you through all the colors because there's about oh, eight or nine colors here. So we have Solar Fire Sardine, Blue Lined Baitfish. Let's see if I can remember all the color names. Uh, we obviously, that one's pretty easy, the Fusilier. That's a real nice Fusilier color. We have White Bait. That's a nice color. It's really going to stand out. We've got Black Candy red mm, I can't remember black candy red or something like that um, but this color so it does look black and it's gonna probably be hard to see but there is like a red speckle through it when you put a bit of light onto it or when the sun's uh, sun's on it you there, there is like kind of like a black uh, ready ready shimmer in that color didn't really describe that too well uh, lava Mahi, no, Lava ma lava Maniac, Lava something, um, just a real nice colour. Now, one thing I'll tell you about this colour and also this uh, Mahi colour is the bottoms of these, this kind of off-white, yellowy kind of colour, that glows. So, this would be a really good colour, well, both of these colours will be really good for using at night because you've got a real, you know, uh, a lot of, um, glow it's really going to stand out this one's a ripper so this is a pink swirl trout and i really do like that color it's quite funky you know you've got the the nice blue little dots on there and the nice silver silver reflection on the side but that's a that's a real nice one and i started off showing you this one but this i think this one's my favorite this is the m series so the m series features a different foil Opposed to, I'll show you on this one, you'll see the foil is different or the sticker is different on the side of this lure. This one has a special M series foil and it really puts off a lot of reflection. It's a really nice, nice finish. And I think that one there, that's got to be my favorite. So that's the M series. But guys, that's a little rowy pop. We've just got them. We've got a reasonable amount of stock of these. Every time we do get these in, they sell out pretty quick. They're not over the top expensive, um, but a really good quality, small wooden lure from ASWB. There's another two models from ASWB that we just added a couple of extra colors, or we managed to get a couple of extra colors in, um, which I'll sh just show you real quickly. So it's the SS65. This is a uh, 65 gram, it's about 150 mil um, slow, slow sinking stick bait. Really good for P4, P5 work. And, and we just added a couple, like I was saying, added a couple of extra colors. So we have the white bait. That's a real, real nice one if that's going to focus. Um, we also have, this one's called uh, 
pink sherbet glow so this is very similar to those other colors like i was saying with the off-white belly that all glows so if you see this thing at night it really does stand out and i mean that color there it, it's unreal that's a that's a ripper color that one um we also got it in the mahi mahi glow i can't remember the color name um, but again, that's a, a real nice color. And again, you have all that, that glow belly. Really, really good P4, P5 sinking stick bait. So for tuna, mackerel, small GTs, this thing's gonna be a ripper. The other one I'm gonna show you from ASWB that again, we just got a couple more. Um, the, the Bungara, 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 um, the F80. So. This, opposed to the uh, SS65, which was a sinking lure, this is a floating lure. And this lure will actually sit like this in the water. So, you know, it's probably sitting around here. The tips um, or the nose of the lure is sitting out of the water and you sweep it with your rod tip and it'll dive and dart and, and go just under the surface and then pop back up like that. So it's actually a pretty easy lure to, to work. And uh, surprisingly, we actually sell a lot of these to New Zealand, which is... Um, surprise me a bit so i don't know maybe guys are using them for kingfish over there but um again this is a, you can use this for gts i've used these up north for a range of different species um, they work on big emperors a anywhere where you're fishing shallow water um, and you don't want to fish a sinking lure this is a really good lure to choose from um, it's 80 grams and it's about that uh oh it's probably about 160 170 mil long um, it's wide through has a really good belly swivel and we just got a couple more colors. So we got the, the uh, pink swirl trout. I'm doing good with the names, I think. Um, the fusilier, like his fusilier is just a ripper. I really do love that um, side, side uh, what would you call it, like the wing. I think it, it looks really awesome. And you've got the real nice, look at that speckle. It doesn't really do it justice in the camera, I don't think. Like when you pick these up in person, you'll really go, shit, this is a, a really nice looking lure. And we also have the mullet, so that's just a pretty cool natural pattern. But they're back in stock, guys. Um, we got, there's actually a few more colors there to choose from, um, but Bungara 80s. But all the ASWBs, like, you know, we, we get them in, in batches. So, you know, we kind of, sometimes some colors are not available, sometimes they are. But if you see one that you like and you know you want to want to try it out, um, get onto our website and order them before they sell out because they do sell pretty quick, and they're they're pretty you know reasonably priced lure. You know just to give you an idea, these bungaras like it's a you know it's a handmade wooden stick bait, and you know the finish is really good. It's really wide through. This one's seventy four ninety nine, so it's it's pretty reasonable if you compare it to some of the. Yeah, you know, handmade Japanese lures on the market. But guys, all the ASWB lures, they're all on our website, so get on there and check them out. While we're looking at really good quality lures, I'm gonna show you these FCL lures. Now, if you haven't heard of FCL, this is a premium quality Japanese uh, lure manufacturer. He also makes jigs, they make uh, rods, they, they make a whole heap of really awesome lures. And we do stock a small range of them. They're kind of hard to get and they are expensive. But I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. a couple of particular models that we have in stock at the moment. And this one here, this is a, I believe they call it a JDP. Now this is a 135 millimeter size and it's a floating stick bait, but it's got the slanted head. So the way you work this is you actually sweep it and it will dive just under the surface. Um, really easy, easy lure to use actually and they weigh about 40 grams. So this thing here, it's really good for using on kind of like P2, P3 tackle. Um, you know, you can use them for tailor, salmon, dolphin fish. They, they work really good up north. And they actually come pre-rigged with really good quality trebles. So I believe these here, just by looking at them, they look like they are a decoy treble. Um, so nice and sharp. You can use this lure directly out of the box. But we've, got, we've only got a handful of colors of these. But I just wanted to give you a look at them because they are really, really nice lures. And I know you guys watching, um, always we, we always get comments when I sh show you really nice looking stuff. So anyway, this is the mullet color. Really, I think that's probably my favorite. We also have it in, this is like a, like a purple, silver, pink head lure. Um, 
real nice reflection on the side of that. That's quite nice. We also have it here, I think this is like a lime, lime orange, I don't know, lime orange white or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's got a real nice, or well, chartreuse kind of colour. Um, it's got a real nice reflection on the side there. If you can see that in the sun, it's really going to stand out. Really do like the, the red eye on that one and the mullet one. That red eye, oh, that's a ripper. We've also got soury. Again, real nice bait fish pattern. Got a real nice dark blue back. And I think the bottom of this glows from memory. I'm pretty sure it does. But that's the JDP guys in the 135. Check them out on the website. We've only got a handful of those left. But if you like premium lures, it's one to check out. Here's another real nice one from FCL Lardo. So this is a TBO 155 Slim. So it's a floating lure, but it's got a real nice slim body and it floats like that. So the head sticks out of the water, you sweep it again and that um, will dart and, and go side to side, walk the dog. Uh, really, really easy to use again. Works really well with trebles, this lure. Um, will actually swim better with trebles than it will with singles. Really good, really, really good finish on it. You can see heavy duty finish. Um, they are a, I think they're like a plastic, they are a plastic lure, but they're a really good quality plastic lure and they are made in Japan. We've got three colors available. We've got the real nice dark black one with the silver speckles. This would be great for using during the middle of the day because you'll get a lot of reflection from those side wings and there's quite a lot of glitter and sparkles in the color. And then we also have this color here. It's kind of like a, maybe like a yellowfin tuna kind of pattern. Um, just a real nice natural bait fish kind of pattern. And again, you know, white bottom, real nice reflection on the side. But that's a, a well, there's only three colors that we have available, available in these. They're kind of like a P4, P3, P4 type lure, um, 155 millimeters long, and that weighs probably around that 50, 60 grams. But check them out, guys. That's the FCL Labo TBO 155 Slim. Moving away from lures, I want to show you a pair of split ring pliers that I reckon are probably one of the best pliers on the market. Now, the ones I'm talking about are the HPA split ring pliers. And there's two sizes available, which I'm going to show you both. But if you, you're doing any heavy duty fishing, GT fishing, even jigging and stuff like that, you, you really can't go wrong with these pliers. They are probably, like I said, probably one of the best ones I've used. They've got a really good heavy duty tip. So this is a large pair that I'm showing you. Um, they're quite a sturdy plier as well. So they're actually quite, um, I'm not gonna say that, you definitely don't wanna get hooks out with them, but they definitely have um, some power in the, in the base of the, the plier there. They also have a little cutter on it. So it's good for cutting nylon but really, really, really good for changing big split rings. And I mean like 200, 300 pound split rings. I'm gonna show you just how easily they do it. So we have quite a large split ring here on this lure and you simply put the plier in and it, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but the, um, the plier, the tooth of the plier grips the split ring really easily. And look at that, just opens it right up and just makes changing changing hooks so much easier with a really good quality split ring plier. So look at that, boom, got that off, no dramas. And that's with the real large one, just drop that on the floor. They also do a micro one. So this is the small, really good for split rings up to like, let's say maybe like a size eight or possibly even a size nine, but you've got the two sizes there to choose from, a large and a small. They come, both sizes come with a really good little pouch that has a lanyard on them. So if you're looking for a really good split ring plier, you can't go past the HPA split ring pliers. They're pretty reasonably priced and they just work, they last really good quality product that you know if you, you're using heavy duty tackle you need to have these in your box 
Next up, I'm going to give you a look at a range of rods from Assassin that are just, they're becoming so popular for us. Every time we get them in, they, they sell out straight away. And it's for drone fishing. Now, drone fishing, you know, I think everywhere is getting super, super popular. You can get your baits out a long way. Um, the guys are catching really good pink snapper, dewfish, mulloway, sambos, everything from shore. And it's really, really effective. But you do need the right you need the right gear to, to effectively drone fish, okay? And this rod here, there's two models. It's from Assassin, designed specifically for drone fishing. So this is the Vector Drone Series. Now, there are uh, 12, there's two models, like I was saying, there's a heavy and there's an extra heavy. The one that we're looking at here is a heavy, okay? Uh, really, really, really spot on for drone fishing. It's 12 foot six long. The one thing that I really like about these rods is they're three piece. So for traveling up and down the beach, they're really easy to, to travel with. They're easy to fit in your car. They have a re real nice low mount reel seat that matches um, great with a overhead reel or with an electric reel. A lot of guys that we're selling these to are actually putting electric reels to these and using, using that for drone fishing because it's really easy to retrieve your baits and the electric reels for drone fishing, they just, I don't know, they hold a heap of line. They're not over the top, um, you know, weight wise. And it just makes it really easy to, to retrieve that line in if you haven't, haven't uh, got a fish on there. But this one here, the heavy is P6 to, uh, sorry, P4 to 6, which is kind of like a 40 to 60 pound uh, rod. But the good thing about them is they're nice and stiff, so you can drone out a really big bait and not worry about the rod being too flimsy in the tip. We'll take a quick look at the extra heavy as well. So this one is rated P5 to 8. You're kind of thinking about like 50 to 80 pound line. This one here, if you, really, if you're running 65, 80 pound line, that's probably appropriate for this, this particular model. It is a bit stiffer in the tip than the just the standard H. So, you know, if you're fishing for bigger sharks, bigger mulloway, bigger sambos, maybe go for the extra heavy, but really good quality bindings on all of these vector drone and pretty much all assassin rods. We've got Fuji guides, the uh, bindings, I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but uh, really top notch bindings on this and you can tell it's quite, quite heavy duty. The joins on the rods as well are really good. You have a spigot join. This is probably the strongest way of, of uh, having rods connect or multiple piece rods. So we've got another piece of blank going with inside uh, this blank here, the main blank, and they both just slide in. You do have a little bit of exposure there, but that's that's how it's meant to look. Really decent sized guides. So check that out. You'll fit your heavy duty leaders, 150 pound leader, even a 200 pound leader is gonna go through these guides with an FG knot, no problems. But guys, if you're doing um, any drone fishing, you're using an electric reel or you're using a, a decent size overhead, check out the Assassin Vector drone rods. They're not cheap, but they are a top quality premium rod. And if that's what you're looking for, then you've got to check these out. You can buy them on our website or you can pop in store. We can set you up with a combo for drone fishing. But come and see us, we'll, uh, we'll work something out for you. But the Vector drone series from Assassin. Lastly for this week, we're gonna take a quick look at just some storage solutions. Now, this is from HPA, and HPA, like the pliers, they make a, a, they pretty much make storage, okay? And it's really good quality storage. A lot of it's like water resistant material. It's a French brand that, yeah, they, they just make premium quality stuff. So this one here that we're looking at is a little chest pack, and obviously you can um, wear it around your waist as well. It comes with straps so you can wear it on your chest. Uh, just a nice small little little fishing bag. It's good for, be good for like fishing in the river or just maybe even fishing up north when you're going along the shore and you don't want to be carrying too much gear. You just want to bring the essentials. But you know, we've got a lot of, a lot of storage uh, compartments in there. So there's a compartment on the front, compartment on both sides. You can actually wash it out as well. So if you see here, We've got a mesh bottom, so you know you could take, if you get a bit of sand or something in there, you can easily wash that out. But that's the chest pack. 
The backpacks are really popular. So the backpacks, they come in um, a range of different sizes, but this one here is the 25. It's pretty much a waterproof pack. So if you, well, water resistant, you know, if you roll that lid closed, nice and tight, and then clip it together, water's really not gonna get in there. These are great for land base. They're great, not just for tackle, but you know, it's, it's dry storage. So if you're on a camping trip or something like that, um, they'll be really good for, for taking cloves or even putting a camera in there where you don't wanna get them wet. The backpack design, um, nice and sturdy. They're not gonna fail on you. Um, we've sold these for you know a number of years, never had one of these come back because everything on it is, it's built to last, you know, really good quality zips. And you can see that material, it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it's a, a really heavy duty um, material. So this is the 25 liter. It's available in a couple of different sizes, a uh, couple of different colors, which you'll see on the website, but that's the nice yellow one. They're not gonna miss you with that. Also available, we have the 40 liter size. The 40 liter size, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more heavy duty, the backpack. So that thing there, you can, you can see it's real nice, comfortable, it's padded. You can fit a fair amount of fishing tackle in this size and it, you know, it's gonna be supported on your back. You've got straps on the side as well. I've just put a cardboard box in here so you can see just how, how big it is. But again, that's the 40 liter size, available in a couple of different colors. But we've sold these things for years. They are really just top quality product. They don't fail, we never get them back, and they're pretty reasonably priced. And that's the HPA brand. Everything from HPA, HPA that we sell is, is good quality, and we, like I said, we never really have any problems with the stuff. So check them out, they're all back in stock, and that's the heavy duty uh, backpack. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this week, guys. And I, I hope you're liking these videos, you know, where I'm showing you the different product that we're getting in. Um, you know, I, I really like making the videos and showcasing the different products. You know, tell you a little bit of information about them. Um, you know, so I, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And, you know, thanks again, everyone, for all the support. You know, whether it's through the stores, whether it's through watching the channel. Um, you know, whether you're purchasing something through our online store, really appreciate it. And I guess if I don't see you in store, guys, I will see you out in the water, but I'll catch you in the next one.